I'm gonna make myself some hot chocolate. This is one of my favorite diffusions. The lens is the soul of your story. It creates this beautiful scallop. You stand over your camera. All right, many times you're asked to do interviews in spaces with pretty much white walls and drop ceilings. Well, the cool thing with these DP Lumis uh, is the output on these things are absolutely incredible. Super bright. Compared to uh, a Light Matte 3, it's five times the output. Five times. And the reason I need all this punch to be able to light my subject that's gonna be standing right here is look at what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with sun blazing in the windows that I cannot control. I have the sun's gonna blaze off of these white um, couches and tabletops and is going to look very, very blown out. So now I'm able to, with this super bright one by three light mats, I'm able to really bring up the volume and control it. So you can see that I have these egg crates on and I'm controlling it so it's not flying all over the place. I've taken this topper that goes across here and that's so it takes out the reflections in the glass in the background. And let's get granular with this. Now, what we're talking about is having enough stop coming out of these to counteract the ability of all this hot sun coming through these windows. So I gotta crank these up. Now, one thing that I talk about is making sure that uh, you have a beautiful wraparound of light and that it's also, uh, if I'm coming in for a close-up, I always rip the egg crate off. Well, that's if the light is positioned in a way that you don't see the whole source. From this perspective, I'm literally seeing the whole source. So the full front is, is aiming at me. It's keeping it off all the walls, but it's aiming at me so I see the full source, which is going to be the softest quality of light. And you can see that it is a line. There is no gaps in between these lights. That's gonna make it a incredibly soft, super wrap. The source doesn't necessarily have to be big and tall. It just has to be very long. And that's what creates the wrap. Now let's get granular with the stop. Out of these things, and I have them, some of them are only at 50%. You can see those two over there. We'll call those six and five. And then it's 80%, then it's 100%, 100%, and 70%. These, I'm getting a 16 out of this at 800 ISO. Now, what's our sun coming in at? Our sun's coming in at a 32. So right now, that means that the sun is only two stops over, which the camera can handle that no problem. But, the, but with the white couch, that's actually four and a half over. So that's why I have to be able to bring all this light in to be able to concentrate it on the talent, being me, and then the ability to not have this stuff go uh, clip you know, to have it clip in the background. Now let's talk about CRI. Usually when you have units that have this high of an output, you know, uh, Light Gear always talks about, well, the reason they don't make them so super powerful is so they can have a very good CRI. Well, a light mat doesn't have any higher than a 96 CRI value on a light gear light mat. And what do we have on this one here? We have 95.5 coming out of all these lights. So the CRI value is excellent coming out of these. Uh, so you're getting high output, you're getting good CRI, and by doing this line of light, you're creating an incredibly soft source 
that wraps me very nicely. Uh, and I'm able to then counteract the sun in this interview lighting scenario. And I've also set it all up. So right here is my arsenal. So it's going from, you know, number six is furthest away from me. Number one is closest to me. So this is one, and then it goes two, three, four, five, all the way around. So I'm able to adjust very nicely. Uh, I can increase my intensity. I can change my color temp. It's all right here in this little ballast power station area. Uh, so when our sun, if it goes into the clouds, I'm gonna be able to easily adjust it uh, as it changes in the day from, you know, it's, this is uh, south facing. So the sun's rising this side and it's going over to the west. So it's always coming through that window just at different angles. So I can adjust uh, easily with my stylus and, and stylus and dialing all this in to keep it uh, nice and balanced.